G'day everyone, my name is Scott Payne. This is a little intro video on Manga Studio 5 or Manga Studio 5. Just setting up the um, interface, customizing it. Definitely a few changes I find quite helpful. One thing is that when you initially install it and open the software, it looks similar to this which is a, a light grey scheme. I prefer a darker UI. That it, that's the first thing I changed because it's a bit harsh on the eyes. So, um, and a lot of programs these days have moved to a darker UI. So you just go File, Preferences, and down to Interface and then change light color to dark color and then you, there's a slider there you can adjust left or right left will make it darker and the other option on the same screen is touch operation settings and you can adjust to suit um, if you do in fact have a touch screen like a Cintiq or a tablet of some sort and you can also, uh, what it does is scale the interface, so it scales the actual icons and moves them around a bit to make it easier to actually, um, if you want to use touch on the actual menu. So you can just tick that and then pick which one you like. I've just left on default. The only thing is you have to restart the program and uh, when you restart it will change to what you've chosen in your interface scaling. Okay, just restart the program. Okay, and as you can see it's changed our icons and the actual inf interface. So there's a toolbar there and our color wheel, color palettes. Now the next thing we can do is actually give us a bit more room and it's a funny little tab there, you click it twice and that hides our top menu bar but we can still access all those menu bars through the display application menu. Just click on that tab and that'll bring everything that was up on that title bar. Now to uh, actually customize our interface, it's pretty easy the way um, Manga Studio has it set up. You can just um, click on any of the um, tool palettes and move them around to where you'd like them. So for example, I can um, take the color palette, just click on it, then drag it, and then you'll see it highlight red. Wherever it highlights red, you can just release it, and that's where the palette will move to. And we're missing the color slider, so you can go to Window and pick Color Slider. All the other tool palettes are there as well, so if there's any that are missing, that's where you'll probably find them. And I can just pick where I want to uh, place the color slider. And that's our layer layer palette. So if I wanted the color wheel in where the layer palette is, which is probably more like Painter or Photoshop, you can um, just click, move it away from the main tool palette and then move it to the layer palette. And we have our color set, color slider, all in within that layer palette.
So I think you get the idea. Then you can go to Window, Workspace, and uh, that's the wrong one. That's if you want to manage it. Window, Workspace, Register Workspace. So once you've got your workspace the way you like it, you can then name it, then click OK, and then Munga Studio 5 will have that in its memory. So if you want to have more than one workspace, you can. This is one I've made earlier. I've got my navigator window, my color wheel set up with the color slider like we did before, and the layers down below that. So pretty easy. And then if you click on the tools or the arrows, you can move them across. Um, also, you can use tab as well. So um, it just gives you a lot more room to work for with. Well, I hope this is some um, help to people that are new to uh, Manga Studio 5. It's a great program. And um, yeah, have fun once you set it up the way you like it, that improves your workflow. So thanks for watching guys.